finna go buy me a wig. Hold on. I'm finna go buy me several wigs. I already got one on the way. Hopefully, it'll be here by tomorrow. I haven't uh, done a rant in a while. So, I figured I would come because I have different circumstances here. This It seems like this past couple of days, couple of months, couple of weeks, whatever. That is just really bothering the John D. Sam hell out of me. I don't know who John D. is. Actually, I do know a man named John D. Anyway, that's not the point. I tired of doing stuff for people. Like, I'm at a point right now, you know, I'm, I do so much for so many people. Like, so many people. And I never really see a return on the love that I get. Damn, this car is all up on my side. Fuck. Anyway, I just feel very unappreciated. Like, you know, the people that I'm assisting and doing things for, trying to make sure that everybody is happy, taken care of, so on and so forth, blah, 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 blah. Everybody acting like I'm doing an injustice, like I'm the one that's doing something wrong. And then, you know, like the people who are like, oh, don't don't uh, be upset, don't feel this way, don't feel that way. Well, can you help me? Nah, I could be able to do that. And aside from that, you know, when I'm be, I, I allowed a particular situation as far as like all this crap going on right now, in a sense, but I went into my journey expecting something different. I was promised and told that I was going to get different from what I'm getting right now. And so I think I'm bothered because it's, it's just, a, it's so difficult y'all. Like, I have this journey I'm going through, or I have some shit I'm going through right now. And the people that I'm helping out, you know, they're giving me such a hard time. Like, I'm the one that's doing wrong. Or they talking trash, you know, talking about you, which I'm fine with that part because you stupid and your mama is too and your cousin, your dog, your crickets, your roaches. I don't care. Y'all all stupid. People are always going to talk about you. So that's not really necessarily a big deal about, you know, you talking and talking trash or whatever about me. All I ask is for respect. You know, when you when you have <clears throat> have somebody doing something for you, sorry, when somebody is helping you, doing something for you, uh, just, you know, giving it their all or whatever, trying to make sure that they accommodate you, trying to make sure that they accommodate, uh, accommodate um, you know, your, your children, your situation, your life, your this, your that, and you have somebody who's helping you. Like, if you catch a ride home from work every day with somebody, you know, be... Uh, um, or to and from work. Be um, considerate of the person that you're riding with. They don't want to ride with your ass every day. They might, but I definitely the hell don't. You know, so be considerate of the person that you're riding with. You know, help with gas. Or, you know, be prompt. Try to be on time. If you're going to be late getting off work, because like on my job, you have to be on the phone. So, in this case, sometimes you are late because you get a call at the last minute. Call them or text them and say, hey, I'm coming. I'm sorry, I'm running late. I just got a call. It shouldn't take more than five or ten minutes. You know, that kind of thing. Be considerate. I'm sorry, y'all. Be considerate. Be thoughtful of people. And it's the same way with me. Like, you know, I'm in a particular situation right now, whatever. It's stupid as hell, but I'm in it. And, uh, you know, all I think I feel like I'm getting so much backlash because I'm asking you to be considerate of me. And then, you know, like the particular person that I asked for the consideration from, they told me I was... I was being selfish pretty much that it's all about me like in me and my conveniences and me and my are you stupid or are you dumb or is it like a stum where it's stupid and dumb put together because I don't know because some people do uh, deal with stum s-t-u-m-b stum stum stupid and dumb put together so I don't know if they're like I don't know if you're stupid or you dumb or you a combination of them both do you not understand exactly what I'm doing to assist you to make sure that your life doesn't get worse? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm putting myself out to help your dumb ass. And you're going to tell me that I'm being selfish and I'm being ignorant and I'm being this and I'm being difficult? Really? Come on, y'all. Now, it's a lot of people in this world that I help or in my little circle or whatever, you know. People need help with their kids? Call Cousin Jamie. <laughs> You don't have no food in your house. I got a, free, a freezer full of food. Call Jamie. I'm going to make sure you got meat. I'm going to make sure you got a vegetable. If I got four green beans, I'm generally going to give you about one and a half, maybe two, depending on how much I like you, right? I'll give you a bag of chicken. You know what I'm saying? Do the best you can to stretch it. If you need more and I got more, I'll take half of what I got again and give it to you because that's generally how I do. 
And I hate being taken advantage of. I hate the fact that people just take me for granted. I hate that people don't appreciate the little bit that I do do. And like I have family members that I over, over, over fucking do for. And when I ask for your help, you can't reciprocate it. But then when I don't help your ass, then they get mad. Fuck you. And fuck everybody. <laughs> Screw everybody in this particular part of my life because I'm very frustrated. When you have somebody who is doing for you, somebody who is helping you, somebody who is giving you a goddamn helping hand, you really should be appreciative. You really should. And if you're not going to help somebody who needs, like, like for example, say... Um, Karen needs help hypothetical name but anyway say Karen needs help or whatever and I know I'm not gonna help Karen I ain't gonna offer my seven cents either because it's more than two it's like seven I'm not gonna offer my seven cents if Karen says she want to give uh, her kids up for adoption <laughs> and she's just like I can't take this shit no more I'm giving them up for adoption I ain't saying shit to Karen. You want to know why? Because I'm not taking your kids for you. So do what you feel like you need to do. I understand, girl. Times are hard. <laughs> I'm serious. I'm not saying anything. Like, don't give, don't offer up any advice. Don't offer up any solution. Don't offer up shit to me. Don't say anything to me if you're not willing to help me. And then if you're not willing to help me, just stay the fuck off my page of life. Dude, not Facebook, not Instagram. I mean, you can stay off of that too. But not all of that stuff, but just stay off my page of life. Just fucking leave me alone. Don't say anything. Don't offer any suggestions. Don't offer any, oh, you should just do this, Jamie. You should continue to, you should shut the fuck up. And I'm going to tell you why. Because you have no, you don't have my best interest at heart. Because as soon as I say, I don't think I'm willing to go through uh, or um, complete this journey or go through this situation or deal with this shit because I hate drama. It may not seem like it, but I absolutely hate the shit. It makes my blood pressure go up. My neck was all hot today. My head got hot and all this shit. And my bowels started moving. I had the boo-boo and stuff. I was like, oh, this is too much. So, I start, like, my blood pressure stuff seriously does rise. And I just, I just don't like all the the riffraff behind stuff, you know. And I had a particular person who was like, oh, don't do that. Don't, don't make the move that you're saying that you want to make. It's not even a threat. It's more so, like, it's, this is the alternative. Like, if you don't help me here... Then I'm going to have to give up this. It's just like if you can't pay your damn car note. Sometimes you just got to let the motherfucker go. And if you're able, just go get a cash card. You know what I'm saying? Like you owe more on your car than what, a, you know, I can go get me a thousand dollar cash card to get to and from work. I can't pay my car note. Sometimes you just got to let it go. Stop, you know, just look. I, it's beyond me. I can't do nothing about it. So this person was like, oh, don't do this. Don't don't uh, make good on this, what you're saying you're going to do. Blah, 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 blah. You know, you're needed in this situation. You're loved or some stupid shit. And I was like, okay. I called like three hours later and was like, hey, I need your help in this particular situation. And that person was like, mm -mm, I can't, mm -mm, I can't do that. In this case, do you have the right to say any damn thing to me? Hmm. <laughs> like I said, don't offer your advice. If you're not willing to help somebody. If Karen needs help. If Karen is saying she's going to put her kids up for adoption. And your ass ain't willing to take them kids for, for, you know, from her to help her out. Don't say shit to Karen. Don't say anything to her. Don't say anything to her. Don't say anything to anybody if you're not willing to put yourself in a situation to help. Now most times... When I give my 17 cents, it was seven a minute ago, but shut up. But when I give my, my little cents or whatever, my little two inputs, I be the main one helping people. Like one girl, she had a badass little boy. Uh, it was a situation like years ago. But one girl, she had this bad little boy. Everybody was giving her all this two cents, two cents, two cents, two cents. But nobody wanted to help the girl. Everybody was like, oh, your son, bad girl. You need to rectify. You need to beat him down. You need to beat him down. And I was like, no, you know, just send him over to the house. I'll beat him down for you. It ain't no big deal. I beat kids. I'm cool. But like, it's not a big deal. You know what I'm saying? So instead of just talking about it, I was being about it. And so when she needed help, she's like, hey, can I take you up on that offer? Hell yeah. Send him on over here. I never had any issues out there, little boy. And when he thought he was going to try to flare up, I was like, just remember, Auntie Jamie, flare up with your ass. However high you want to jump, I will meet you. And we cool. Ain't had no issues since. 
And the only reason why I stopped watching that girl's son is because she, um, one day she had came over to the house to pick him up. I'm so off subject, but it's really on subject, but off subject. But she had came over to my house to pick him up. And I was sitting there eating or doing whatever. And she just may be a really, um, affectionately touchy feely kind of person or whatever. I'm not. And, uh, she was like, hey girl, like this my leg, right? Hey girl, ha 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 ha, speech, 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 whatever, but girl, mm-hmm, I got soft skin. Mm-hmm, girl. And I was like, oh shit, like that's how I move the leg. Oh shit, oh right. I never, ever, ever had that girl back on my house because I was like, nah, I ain't down for all that, boo. Particularly not with you, and I'm just not finna go that way. I don't necessarily swing to the other side with the nutsack. I don't know. Okay, but it's not gonna happen today. Just leave me alone. I'm trying to help you and you coming up here. And she may not have been making no sexual advances, but she may have been. I don't know. And I don't have time to try to figure this shit out. Bye. Take your kids and get out. You messed it up for your own self and your own kids. I, I, I ain't got time for that. So, but what I was saying was <laughs> she, I was offering my advice about a situation, you know, that she clearly needed help with. And I was willing to give my help, you know, to help her with her help. When people need groceries, it's like a girl that uh, at this church I used to go to or whatever. It's one chick we never talk, y'all. We never, ever, ever freaking talk. When she's pregnant or something, it may have been when she's pregnant. And I said, because she needed help, if you ever need me, just call me. I know we don't talk, blah, 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 but if you need anything, just call me, let me know. She took me up on my word. She called me one day and was like, hey, I need help to eat. I'm hungry. I'm pregnant. Mom and daddy ain't stepping up or whatever it may have been. Blah, 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 blah. And I was like, that's cool. When I see you at church, I'll send $20 in your hand. That's cool. She was like, yeah, that'll really help. Cool. Every couple of months, she'd be like, hey, can you um, help me with gas? I need help getting the gas uh, to and from work or doing this or doing that. And I was like, that ain't no big deal. If I had it, it was cool. If I didn't have it, I was like, baby, I don't have it this time. I'm sorry. We never exchanged words. She didn't talk to me. I don't even think the girl ever really said hi to me. But because I offered up my help, I was a woman of my word. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying. Like, and I didn't expect anything in exchange for her. And I really don't want my money back. I don't need it back. I'm not that hard up. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I be broke, but sometimes I'm not. Sometimes you feel like a nut. Sometimes you don't. You act on it, you may not. I don't know. But the point is, is that, you know, sometimes she needed help and I was able to help. So I helped. I was going to blow the $20 anyway. You know, that kind of thing. So it wasn't a big deal. But when I talk and I try to offer help to people, I actually make good on what I'm doing. Don't fucking offer me, like, your advice and shit and you're not finna do nothing about it. That's just straight up. Like, don't offer me any of your advice if you're not willing to do anything. Now, if I ask for your advice, give me your unsolicited just ugh, advice. Just spit it, throw it up, and blah. But other than that, don't offer me anything. Don't say anything to me. Don't offer me any of your feelings. Don't. I don't give a damn what you feel. I don't give a damn what you think. I just, I just don't care. So, also, don't misuse people. Don't take people for granted. Don't be unappreciative of what people do for you, especially when they go out of their way for you. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going out of my way in multiple situations in my life right now. And when I'm like, damn, you know, you really going to come down on me and treat me like I'm shit? You going to treat me like I'm trash and I'm doing shit to help you to have a better life, you fucking idiot? You know what I'm saying? So, if I'm trying to help you get food, if I'm trying to help you put shoes on your kids' feet, if I'm trying, man, don't fucking take me for, uh, don't take advantage of me. Don't try to be unappreciative of me and don't call your mama on me. Don't, don't fucking... I hate that shit too. Let's talk about it. Don't try to snitch on me. I absolutely hate that shit. My sister be doing that. Whenever I don't do something she want me to do, or I don't give her the response she wants, she call my mama. And then my mama be calling me. And she be like, Jamie, I don't know what you and your sister got going on, and I don't know what you done said to Jessica. But she like, 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 and I'm like, uh uh. Uh-uh, you know, I don't necessarily believe in disrespecting parents and all that kind of shit, blah, blah, blah. Y'all know the speeches, because black parents slap shit out of you, so on and so forth, whatever. However, I be like, uh-uh, you not gonna call with this? Not today? No. Uh-uh, you can't do that. I'm not the one that did this to me. I'm not the one that did this to us. I just told Jessica something she didn't want to hear. All of a sudden, now she calling mamas, trying to snitch on me. And I'm like, what the fuck? I don't even need nobody's help. I don't even ask you for shit, dog. I go home every day. 
I don't fucking call nobody asking nobody for nothing. I don't ask for your help or nothing. I mean, sometimes I ask for my help, but that's that. We don't have to talk about that part. I don't ask for your help for anything. I don't ask you to help me pay my bills. I don't ask you to help feed me. I don't ask you for anything. And you really gonna call me about this bullshit? Man, get off my phone. That goes for any goddamn body. I don't give a fuck. If you try to bring drama in my life, fuck you. Get off my phone. Nigga, get out of my life. I mean that shit. Don't call. Don't don't try to snitch on me. Like, for real. Don't try to fucking snitch on me. I hate that shit. How you gonna tell my mom? I'm a grown-ass woman. I'm. Ooh, that is really cool. Look at this car. Sorry. In the middle of the, the deal. Oh, y'all might have to be catching other cars. But look. Oh. Sorry, it was really cool. I thought it was worth the zoomage. Look, ain't that cool? Okay, I'm back. I'm sorry. Hold on. Coming back. Sorry, I thought that. I just thought that was cool. Anyway, but don't try to snitch on me. Don't freaking call my mama. Don't call your mama. Definitely. Can you see me? So when the camera zooms all the way in like that, it looks like it's grown in a penis or whatever. So it just really freaks me out. Anyway, but don't try to snitch on me. Don't call my mama. But most definitely don't try to call your parents. It's not going to play out well for you. <laughs> it ain't going to play out well for your parent either. Because I don't know you. Fuck you. As far as I'm concerned, grown woman to grown woman, it's going to go down. I'm telling you, don't call. Don't try to snitch on me. I'm a grown ass woman. I don't even know if you're supposed to tell on each other at this age. My sister got it bad. She a big ass baby or something sometimes. Fuck that. And when I be snitching, because you know I be trying to snitch or whatever. It never goes in my favor, right? Oh, I'm going to snitch on you today. I'm telling mama what you said. I'm going to tell mama, you know, expect it for And then my mama be defending my sister. I'm going to get mad as hell. And I'm like, you know what? Fuck everybody. I quit. I'm done. Don't call me for shit else. I'm not talking to y'all for two weeks. And yes, I do not talk to them for like a week or two. Don't play with me because if I'm mad, I'm goddamn mad. Just like I'm still mad at Michaela. Not as much, but I was very mad at her on Saturday. And I was like, do not fucking touch me, Michaela. And I mean that shit. And I was like, I will not stop being mad at your ass until like maybe Monday or Tuesday. So it's only Monday. And I think I have decided to continue to be mad at her punk ass. So when I am mad, I am fucking mad. And right now, I have become livid. With all this stupid shit happening in my life, so I figured I would come on with the rant and be like, stop trying to use me. Don't just make me feel like I'm not appreciated for the shit that I do for every goddamn body. If your motherfucking ass don't do shit to help me and my family and my three and four and 17 of us or however the hell many is in my house and no more, fuck you. Don't call me for shit. If every time that I call you and I need something and you can't come through for me, don't call me no goddamn more. And I mean it. And do not be offended when I tell your ass don't call me no more. Okay? Because some people get offended. And it's like, you can't be mad, boo-boo. You can't be mad. I'm telling y'all, man. I am so over people who, right now, everybody's stupid. I mean, everybody, you may not be stupid. You know, you particularly the person that's watching it currently. But everybody may not be stupid, but in my little circle that I'm having to deal with on this stupid shit, everybody's stupid. And then, you know, the people coming at me like, oh, you dumb. Oh, you shouldn't be trying to do this. And you, man, shut your dumb ass up. You want it? <laughs> shit. Anyway, bottom line, don't call me if I call you and you all, like, if I call you, you ain't never available. You ain't never able to do something. You always got your fucking hand out. Fucking don't call my phone. Erase my number, delete my Facebook, erase, you know, just completely let me go. Bro, just forget I ever even existed. And I'll be just fine. If you see me in the store, don't say hi. Second of all, <laughs> don't snitch on me. Don't snitch on me. Do fucking not snitch on me. Don't try to tell my mama and don't try to tell your mama. Or the pastor or whoever, because anybody can get it in Jamie's world. And guess what? All of this shit that revolves around me is Jamie's world. Just like your world is your world. My world is mine. So do not try to snitch on me. I'm telling you it's going to go another way. Your ass think I'm going to have respect for your mama because of who the hell your mama may be or blah, 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 blah. Or I seem like I was cool. It was one chick who fucking tried my ass. I'm sorry, but it was one chick. She tried me. She did. And she didn't understand don't snitch on me. She also didn't understand uh, don't try me. Fucking don't try me. So she had been pushing my button. And I'm, I'm real patient, believe it or not. I really am. She had been pushing my buttons for like two years. I'm patient. And she's just, and I'm like, okay. So when I blew up on her ass, we was in public. 
And the bitch had came and I was in the conversation with my daughter at that time. Well, my daughter, she is still my daughter. But she's older. Like we I was twenty five, maybe twenty six, probably twenty five ish. And uh, my daughter was twenty three at that time or so. And the girl, the, the chick came up and put her back up to me. Like, we were sitting in a booth. My daughter was right here, and I was right here. And the girl came up in between us and, like, leaned on my table. And, like, I'm behind her. And was like, how you doing? Blah, blah, blah. Talking to my daughter in the middle of our conversation. And I was like, oh, my God. Like, this bitch just tried me. Walked away, came back. And I was like, bitch, I know you hear me talking to her. Like, what the fuck is your problem? And then that's when I was like, man, fuck this being nice shit. Fuck this bitch. She gonna push me to the ultimate limit. So, fuck it. I'm ready. And next thing I know, some kind of way, Maya was standing up on the table, taking off her shoes, swinging at the girl. <laughs> She's so bad about it. I love little women. <laughs> anyway, and I'm like, oh, my God, take off the shoe. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. You know, she like, oh, my God, no, you didn't. So she ran and she snitched, right? So we had like this additional two-year battle because this bitch snitched on me. And I was like, oh, my God. I didn't say nothing to nobody after all this happened. I was just like, nothing ever happened. And then my family, well, my husband's family, because, you know, I be mad at them sometimes, but not really as much. Like, I like Mama Griffin and Kim and Patrick and Stephanie all the time, but everybody else outside of that, mm, you can kiss my ass. So, ooh, yeah. Not cutting it out. Okay, I had to think about that for a second. Anyway, um, but I, uh, you know, I went around the family and stuff, and I got talked to about it by her sister. And her sister was like, you know, so what's going on? Like, what happened? Oh, my God. You're really acting like a hood rat. That's what she told me. And I was like, okay. <laughs> Fuck you. I mean, I may be acting like a hood rat, but I'm not bona fide hood rat. I only get hood ratish if need be. And, um, fuck you. I mean, because you're from the hood and you are a fucking rat, you bitch. I'm from the suburbs. I just know how to get there if I need to go there. Fuck you. And I was like, you know, I went and started. I mean, I get it's bad, y'all. It was probably worse than that, but y'all need all them details. So she was like, oh my God, you know, just let, I just want to let you know that if anything ever goes down, you know, you're my sister in law now, blah, 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 blah. She was like, it's a whole crazy situation how we all family. But she was like, if anything ever goes down, you know, that's my sister, and I'm going to have to take up for my sister and fight with my sister. And I was like, bitch, what the fuck that mean to me? I was like, are you threatening me right now? Because your ass can get it too. I'll call my sisters over here now. I'll start whooping your ass in the meantime and your big ass sister. I'll fuck both of y'all up. Then my sisters will come and we'll finish this shit off. Don't fucking threaten me, right? See, that's the kind of shit I'm talking about because up until that point, I was real nice. And she was like, oh my God, like this bitch is crazy. So then they tried to make sense. It's a lot. Just bottom line, leave me alone. <laughs> if I'm helping you, if I'm doing something for you and I'm going out of my way and I'm being a loving person, just fucking leave me alone. Help me to be compliant. If I got a bad attitude one day, fucking just give me some forgiveness. Why? Because I'm dealing with your fucking situations, making my life goddamn harder. But we're not going to talk about it right now. So, bottom line, you know, y'all got y'all three points. First of all, don't ever make me feel unappreciated. Do not snitch on me. And just bottom line, just don't fuck with me. All right? I'm just saying. Maybe I'll just replay the three tips because I think I gave y'all like nine tips all in all. But the one that is consistent is don't fucking snitch on me. I hate that shit. Anyway, so I think that was enough of a rant. I done ran it for like 17,000 minutes, it seems like. I'm going to have to cut some of this out. But I'm not cutting out the part where I called out their names. Because mo most of the motherfuckers don't even like me anyway. So if they ever see this shit, fuck them. I'm so mad right now today. Y'all don't understand. Like, niggas get on my goddamn nerves. I'm so over this shit. All right, I'll holler at y'all next time. And I'll see y'all on Friday.